Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at transferring bookmarks from Google Chrome into Firefox. So let's get started. At this point, you've probably already downloaded Firefox. This is my first launch here, and you'll see that it says, hey, should I make Firefox your default browser? Yes, absolutely, I would like that to happen. And then it says, hey, Chrome is your current browser. No, I'm going to choose Firefox. All right, from here, once you've got Firefox open, what you'll want to do is go up to where it says bookmarks in the menu bar. And then from there, we're gonna go to show all bookmarks. All right, so let's take a look at this window here and actually see what they've got here. Other bookmarks, your menu bar, which comes with like some of the defaults. Uh, you've got your bookmarks toolbar and you've got all bookmarks. What I wanna do in this case is actually take all of my bookmarks that are in my toolbar in Chrome and bring them over to Firefox. So let's click on this little kind of sync button here or transfer button. And then you have the option to restore from a current Firefox uh, configuration that you might have like another, another laptop and then you can import an HTML but what we're going to do is import the data from another browser all right and it's automatically going to de detect what you have on your computer in my case I have Safari and Chrome let's pick Chrome and it'll actually give you a little warning to let you know hey you have to quit Chrome make sure it's not open you can tell that because of the little uh, white dot underneath the app that's how you know it's running and then what I'll do is hit continue I have a bunch of uh, different accounts so I only want to transfer from one account which is kind of like my primary account click that if you want if you also have multiple accounts in Chrome and you want to copy them all over then you have to repeat this process kind of rinse and repeat kind of thing all right, so let's hit continue. And you have the option to do your cookies, your browsing history, save passwords even, that's a big one, and then bookmarks. Now, I kind of want to get away from Chrome because I feel like they're kind of going too deep into the tracking of my activity and my search history. It's getting to the point where it's spooky, where I'm getting all these ads for things that you know I may have searched the day before and all of it is just coming too close for comfort so firefox a little more privacy focused uh, i'm going to give it a go for a while and uh, see how things go i'm going to choose all these options here and hit continue you can give it uh, take not even 10 seconds it should be done depending on how much you have and then you'll see imports from Google Chrome. Now, the weird thing about this is it doesn't show you your toolbar by default. I like seeing mine, so I'll go to View, Toolbars, Bookmarks Toolbar. There we go. And now it has the get start, Getting Started and the Google Chrome thing. I don't like it being in a folder. So what I'm going to do is actually click on the first one, scroll all the way down, hold down the Shift key on the keyboard, click on the last one and it'll select all 181 tabs. And what I want to do is then drag them to the bookmarks toolbar, which will make them all pop up here. I have a really nice uh, white screen. So if I full screen it, I get to see a big variety of my uh, bookmarks here and then I can click the little arrows and it'll drop down the rest. Usually over time, if I don't use the bookmark, I will delete it and then it will uh, kind of uh, be taken over by the next one that I'm using. So these kind of change over time for me. It's like on a rolling basis. If I go to those websites for a while uh, or, or frequently, they'll be up here and then I put things up here as time progresses. So it's really like a live toolbar for me. I don't actually, uh, you know, kind of go to all of these at some point, they just kind of fall off. And then sometimes in the future, if I need it, I might come back to it. Uh, and uh, you'll be surprised frequently enough. I do go back to like a couple of months ago and then, you know, I need to find something that I looked at a while ago. So that's just how I like to use it. Uh, some people don't, some people only have, you know, like 10 primary websites they go to and they delete them. Not me. I like having them all kind of on the toolbar at once. Uh, and then also I don't like that folder there. So what I'm going to do is right click on it, click delete. That'll get rid of that folder. And then these popular ones, don't really care about those. Going to delete that. Uh, video idea tabs, that was something I did a while ago. Don't need that. But in any case, I'm not going to bore you with more of my uh, tab organizations here. 
that pretty much sums up the import of things. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and we hope to see you next time.